This is the LM3886 Audio Power Amplifier. The 3886 is a high-performance amplifier capable of delivering 68 watts continuous average output power into 4 ohms at VCC of plus and minus 28 volts and 38 watts into an 8 ohm with 0.1% total harmonic distortion from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is the LM3886 board. For this test, I'm using the power supply from this sub-amplifier. It will provide the right voltage and current necessary for testing the LM3886 amp. So, it's time to put it to the test. So, here is the amplifier. Right here, that's the uh, chip. And we've got a load right here. This is a 3.9, but we're going to call it a 4 ohm load. And right here, we see... This is the uh, connections to the load for the test, and this is the input coming from the preamplifier. Right now we have this connected to another amp. This is the transformer being used, and I'm piggybacking this amp on this amplifier, piggybacking the transformer on this amplifier. So now we're going to take this right here, the scope lead, and it's connected across the load and it's right now looking at a one kilohertz signal. This is the peak to peak level just before clipping and it's 46.4 volts and we're looking again at one kilohertz audio. Right now I'm going to change it to 15 kilohertz. Now we'll adjust the scope accordingly. So I adjust the time base here And again, here it is at 15 kilohertz at 46.4, just about 46.4 volts peak to peak still. Slight variance, but it's pretty close. And here's our setups at times 10 volts, uh, channel 1 of the scope, and our time base. Right now, I'm going to take the check the voltage rail uh, going into the chip. And as we'll see here, it's 56.5 volts, and that's 28.25 volts per rail, plus and minus. I got this fan here so I can keep everything cool because that resistor is actually quite hot. Still at 15 kilohertz, and we're looking at 46.4 volts. So let's do some power calculation here. So that's 46.4 volts. Now we're going to divide that by 2. We got 23.2. But we need to get RMS value, so we're going to multiply that times 0 0.707. That's 16.4024. Now we'll square that by multiplying it times itself. That's E squared over R. That's how we get this power. And there's our value. Now we're going to divide that by 4 ohms. There's 67.259 watts, pretty darn close to 68 watts. So I think we can say that's pretty close. The 67, we'll call it 68 watts. So there it is. That is confirmed. That is 68 clean watts into 4 ohms. Confirmed. The LM3886.